I'm, I'm just hoping that the league ends up with a, a four-point shot or a five-point shot so we can make it a real circus. The NBA teams are scoring at a historical pace, but does it really mean we are witnessing the best era of basketball? While three of the top four all-time best offenses come from this season, the comments of the unhappy fans have never been louder. Why is that? And what should be done in order to make the games more interesting and diverse? Before we get into the details, don't forget to like this video if you agree that the NBA needs some changes. Did a switch. Pull, step back. The 10 best NBA offenses of all time come from the last three seasons. The players are more athletic and skilled than ever. We are seeing crazy dunks each night. So how come some NBA fans are irritated with the way the game is being played at the moment? In my eyes, the beauty of any sport lies behind unpredictability, the effect of surprise and the emotion behind it. The NBA, however, apart from the nasty dunks and incredible game winners, has become a pretty one-sided league with scoring taking off to extreme levels. It is an effortless job to score with the manipulation of rules allowed by the referees, thus making it easy to predict what's going to happen most of the time. Now how did we arrive here? A series of rule changes have led us to this point. The defensive 3 second rule, the hand checking, the way travels, zero steps and moving screens are called. The NBA rules the rulebook changes to attract more viewers and the most money the league has ever seen from TV deals. But now, together with the player's progress, it's backfiring on the product quality itself. The three-point evolution did not help either. Almost 40% of all shots nowadays are threes, and all of this leads us to scores like 150 to 147. Now, of course, it's a personal preference, but games are still fun when they finish 120 to 115 and not in these all-star game numbers. Out of backcourt, a quick move, gets to the three-point arc. Wood was not in the to put things into perspective, 55 players are scoring more than 20 points this season. In 2013, so only 10 years ago, we had only 11. 40-point games are a new normality, but the more common they will become, the less headlines they will make. The league does not benefit from that in the long term. Yes, many things have improved greatly, but it is all the additional help for the offensive player that comes from the rules and the referees that's hurting the game at the moment. And it's normal, we are humans, we adapt to the situations. Players do the same on the court. If you allow them to push the boundaries further, they'll do exactly that. First of all, they'll carry the ball. Basically, every game they freeze on hesitation moves and wait with the ball in their hands until you react and then they drive to the rim. It's already hard for the defense because of the no hand checking and elite quickness, but when you add this, it's simply impossible. Morant takes flight, scoops and scores! The same goes for the interpretation of the traveling rule. We are used to seeing four-step travels before a highlight dunk on the other side, but the main problem is the amount of these that go unnoticed on the catches. The refs are so close yet looking in the other direction somehow. Simply too much is allowed to the offensive player and we are not done yet. Moving screens are getting out of hand as well. We all know who is the biggest repeat offender of this, but it's not only the Warriors. You can find illegal picks in every game, punishing the defenses yet again. League has never seen better shooters and now only aggravating the harm of moving screens. The funny part is that palming the ball, the traveling rule and the moving screens were all points of emphasis once. Yet it got so much backlash that the refs forgot it after one month every time. Remember the game when Jordan Poole got called three times for carrying? Three, we saw him make five. Uh, discontinued. Another discontinued dribble. That's wild. How many three is that? in one game? That's crazy. Well, two months later, he is doing the same and nobody seems to care. Enforcing these rules seriously would make it a bit harder to score. But that doesn't mean the game would lose its beauty. These players have the most talent ever, they would adjust and create the highlight plays that everyone wants to see just like they do now. These three changes would be an excellent start, but what could make the NBA regular season even more interesting? Less games. One way or the other, it has to finally happen. The scoring has increased not only because of all the factors mentioned before, but also because the intensity levels defensively have decreased throughout the years. Fewer matches could give more importance to a single game and that would be a strong first step if the NBA doesn't want to change the way the game is officiated. Five straight for Denver out of the timeout. 
Then, what if the NBA adjusted their rulebook according to the one of FIBA? We see an amazing level of basketball being played in the Continental Championships or the World Cup, so why not transfer the same game to a bigger NBA court with a longer three-point line? Why not allow more physicality with the hand checking back and maybe removing the three-second defensive rule? These changes would probably slow the game down a little bit, meaning fewer possessions with less shots after zero or one pass being made. Now, I personally would be happy about more balance between slow and fast-paced games, because too many early shots, in my opinion, are taking away just a slight bit from the beauty of the game. The last proposal is the most extreme. Ex-NBA coach Jeff Van Gundy offered to eliminate corner freeze. It's one of the reasons I'd like to see the corner three eliminated. You're not just planting guys. We're basically going to force you to move. And the three-point line to me would be ended where the break is. Everything below the break, you're, you know, it's two-point basketball. That is an interesting idea that would, however, need additional measures. But what if we had four points for the threes and three points for twos? Now that would change the whole perception of only layups and freeze philosophy because of the diminished importance of long shots. It might even lead to more different style of plays in offense instead of every team just running spaced out iso or pick and roll plays. Without any adjustments, it's quite possible that the amount of taken freeze will only grow in the upcoming years. How do you think it should be solved? Anyway, I don't think stars nowadays need favors from the refs to perform greatness. And to improve the variety offensively and make Make the game a little bit more unpredictable, some European rules would make sense. I am very intrigued to hear your opinion in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like the video and I'll see you in the next one.